My name is Chuck Rithier. Welcome to my Photoshop CS6 tutorial for my students at Sug Middle School. If uh, you're someone else, great. Hope you enjoy this. Okay, the idea of this project is uh, we are preparing to take a Photoshop CS6 um, ACA test. So there's certain things you need to know when you, before you're going to take that test. So what we're going to do is we are going to pretend that we are graphic designers. And we've just been hired by a ski lodge in Colorado, and they want us to make a picture for them, a graphic, a photo composition, if you will. Um, now, when you are going to create something for someone, you want to you know, find out what the specs are, what's important to your customer. Um, they want this picture to appeal to an age group of 18 to 45-year-olds with a college education who live or travel in the Midwest United States and have enough disposable income to go on vacations. Um, also, when creating a project for a client, always pay attention to the goals of the clients and the details of the intended audience, such as we mentioned uh, gender, age, occupation, ethnicity, education, etc. Make sure you get feedback as you proceed uh, via phone, email, in person, or by distributing um, PDF uh, pictures um, so they can see your progress. Um, so uh, this, we want the project to stay on track, obviously. You don't want to just do this whole big project for your client and then they say, hey, that's not what I wanted. So if you stay in constant communication with them, that's, that's the way to do it. Just like making a teacher happy, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so uh, the first thing we'll need is an image of a downhill skier. Uh, if we were really doing this as a project, we would purchase a picture or we would go and find a free picture, a royalty-free image, that we could use. Um, because copyright issues are always uh, important to pay attention to. Now, since this is just an educational exercise, uh, we're just going to simplify things and grab an image off of Google. Okay, so let's uh, fire up Google Chrome. Come on, baby. Don't crash on me. We found Google Chrome works better at our school. Um, <laughs> anyway, so let's go to Google. We're going to type in skier, S-K-I-E-R. Hit enter. Uh, click on images. Now, I know these images aren't going to stay in this particular order forever, uh, but for ease of, of finding. Um, I'm going to choose the fifth image in this, and it's this picture of this uh, skier with a white jacket. Um, if you don't see this exact picture, then try to pick, uh, find one that is similar to it. What you want is you want the skier in the left uh, or the right, uh, you can do it backwards if you want, um, part of the screen, because we're going to be overlaying um, some images and graphics over on the right side. And you want to skier in motion because we're going to be adding um, snow and things like that. You don't want them just standing there. Um, so this is, a, this is a good picture for us. Okay, so you, to get the picture, you click on the thumbnail. Uh, you wait for it to resolve itself. Come on, you. Look all pretty for me. Uh, there it is. Now we are going to download this to our computer. You just right click there. Save image as, and I'm going to put it in my pictures library. And now, pay attention where you put things. Um, I tell my students all the time, you know, if if your mom hands you your laundry and tells you to put it away, do you put a blindfold in and then go in your room and put it away? No, you d <laughs> you, you put it somewhere where you can find it again. Okay, don't have a blindfold on when you save things on your computer. Okay, so notice I'm putting it in my pictures folder. And I note the name, downhill skier, blah, blah, blah. So I save that. Uh, now Google Chrome is, is convenient because down here on the bottom left you can see it has uh, placed a convenient spot for that picture for me. Now we're going to be opening this in Photoshop CS6. Uh, you could open Photoshop CS6 and then do file open. Um, if Photoshop CS6 is associated with your JPEG, you could just click here. Um, I think most of my students it isn't. So what we're going to do is we're just going to right click on that picture. We'll show it in the folder. There it is. You can see it's highlighted blue. 
and then I'll just right click and I will say open with Adobe Photoshop CS6. That's nice. Okay, here we go. And hopefully I... Yes, Photoshop CS6. We just got this in at uh, my school, so we are thrilled to actually be able to use it. Okay, now my computer's about seven years old, so it'll probably take a moment to load up. La 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 la. Oh, look at it's reading color settings. It's doing all kinds of cool things. Do you read the screen when things load up? I like to read all the little words and things that come up as it's doing things. Initializing, blah blah blah. And if we did it right, we'll see. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so for some reason, if that didn't work for you, just open up Photoshop CS6, do a file open, and get that picture. Okay, now. The, um, <laughs> okay, this is a picture of me singing the national anthem I was playing with earlier. Okay, that's not a necessary picture. Nope, we don't need that. Let's say no to that. Cool. Okay, so this is uh, Photoshop CS6. You can see um, down the left, these are our tools or the toolbar. Up across the top, we've got our drop-down menus with all our core cool things. Now, this little bar right here under the drop-down menus, this is called the um, options. Okay, so if I ever refer to options, um, they're right there. Uh, in other programs, there you might see this at the bottom, and it's called properties. Uh, Photoshop calls it options, and your options will change according to which icon, uh, which tool menu that you press. You see as I press different ones it gives me different options. Cool. Over here on the right are our panels. Um, as you do things in Photoshop uh, you'll have these panels over here that will open up and help you out. Um, this is a little workspace uh, picker that you can click on and it lets you, um, if you are a painter, a photographer, a typographer, or whatever you are, you can click these and uh, and choose that stuff. Now we're just we'll just stick with um, essentials for now. Cool. Okay. Well, we have we've got our picture open, and let's take a quick uh, break, and we'll go on to the next step.